What's up guys, I'm Paul from Ecommerce Gold and in this video I'm going to go through and show you what it's like to set up a navigation menu in Shopify. So let's get started. Right, so to get started with your navigation menus you first need to go into your Shopify dashboard, obviously, click on online store and click on navigation and this will bring up all the navigation menus that are available for your store. Now by default Shopify adds two menus which are the footer menu and the main menu but what if you want to add an additional menu? Well this is very simple to do. Simply click on add menu in the top right and then we want to add a title for this menu so we'll call it test menu original I know and then you want to add any menu items going to cover this more in a second and then set the handle for your menu as well now by default Shopify will pull this from the title which for most menus is going to work perfectly but if you want to create a custom menu handle you can edit this here one thing to know is you can't have spaces in the handle. If there are spaces, so as you can see here between test and menu, you need to use a hyphen instead of a space, the same way you would in a URL. But once you're happy with your menu and you wanna basically add it to your menu options, simply click save menu, and then go back into the navigation homepage basically, and you'll see that the test menu has been added to your list of available menus. But what if you want to delete a menu? Well, this is once again very simple to do. Simply click on the menu item and you'll see there's a delete menu button here at the bottom. Click on that and this pop-up will appear asking you to confirm that you want to delete this menu. Click on delete and that menu has been deleted. Now you can't do this with the two default options available from Shopify. So if you click on footer menu, there's no delete option and it's exactly the same for the main menu. These two can't be deleted. And for your main store menu, I'd recommend just editing the default menu, this one, the main menu, rather than creating a custom one because, well, I just don't see the point of creating a custom one where you can just go in and edit one that's already there and can't be removed anyway. So to go in and edit this, simply click on the main menu link and you can go in and you can change the title of this menu if you want to, if you feel the need. But what if you want to add items to this menu, which is obviously what you're going to want to do. Well, to do this, we want to click add menu item here and you'll see this sidebar pop up appears and there's two options available here. The first one is the name. So this is going to be the name of the link that's displayed on the front end of your site. And then you choose what this link is actually going to. And if you click on this box, you'll see a list of options come available. So the home page pretty self-explanatory goes to the home search brings up a search bar so people can search your store and then you've got your collections products pages blogs blog posts and policies and if you click on any of these options it will display the list of options that you've created for your store so collections it shows all the collections if you go on pages it shows all the pages you've created for your store now, if you want to add an external link, so you've got a YouTube channel, for example, what you want to do is copy the URL of the link you want to link to, paste it in this search box, and then add a name to it, and then that adds an external link to your navigation menu. But for this, we're going to add a page, which is my watches page, because it's a list of link collections. If you want to figure out how to do a page of collections, I'll leave a link to the video up here, or up here. I always forget which side it is. But as you can see, when you click on a link, it will pull the name of that page or collection, whatever it is, and put it in the name at the top. If you want to create a custom link for this or a custom name for the link, just edit this name. But I'm quite happy with it being titled Watches. What you want to do is click on Add and it will add this item to your menu. And what about if you want to create a nested menu? So you want to have titles under titles or links under links, which most people are going to want to do because with Shopify, you can't create sub collections. It just doesn't allow you to do it. But you can do kind of a workaround with the navigation menu. So this is creating a nested item. And what you want to do is click on these six dots here because you can see when I hover my cursor over it, it changes to like a hand icon. It should do that on your device as well. And if you want to create a nested menu, simply click on these three dots and you'll see there's a blue line appear with a circle and you just want to drag this over to the right. And as you can see, it slightly indents that circle and you can do this on any of the headings that you want. But I'm going to do it under collection so you can drag these around as much as you want. And I'm going to create a nested item here. 
So when I release the cursor, as you can see, watches appears under collections. But what if you want to add a second level to this? Because in your Shopify navigation menus, you can have two levels. You can't have more than two levels though. So for this, I want to add a menu item to collections. So we click on this, it brings up the pop-up sidebar again, and I'm going to want to link to one of my collections. And I'm going to want to link to my automatic watches collection. And you can filter the collection with tags if you want to. I'm not going to do that in this video because I want to keep it as simple as possible. Simply click on add and you'll see that it's added automatic watches under the watches one. But this isn't nested under it, it's just another option under collections. So what we can do is click on the six dots again and you'll see the blue line appears and we can drag this to the right and then it will nestle automatic watches under the watches heading. Now we can't add another heading basically under automatic watches to the right because it doesn't allow you to do that. But that's how you can create a nested menu is just by basically dragging the options to the right under a heading that you want. And then when you're happy with your menu, make sure you click save. Because if you go away from this page and you haven't saved it, you won't save your menu and it won't be available on the front end of your site. So now we've created the menu, let's see what this looks like on the front end of our store. So if we click on online store and we click on the little icon, it will open up a preview. And you can see we've got collections, watches and automatic watches nestled under the watches heading. But there are a couple of options when it comes to the way your navigation menus are displayed. And that's what we're going to cover now. So if we go into themes and go into customize, we'll open up our customizer. And if we click on the header and scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's some options for the menu. So the first thing we can do is we can choose to change this menu. So we can change the menu to another menu. So if we click on this, it'll bring up the list of all the options for the menus that we've created. I don't want to change it. You can also choose to remove this menu if you want to. So if you don't want your main menu displayed up here, simply click on remove menu and it will remove that menu. But next up, we've got our desktop menu type and we've got a drop down menu here. It's not just named drop down because it's a drop down menu, but two different ways the desktop menu can be displayed. So we've got the drop down, which is this one. But then secondly, we've got the mega menu. And what this does is it creates a full width mega menu basically. And what I like about this and the reason why I would use it on my store is because all the headings are clickable. So we can click on watches and it takes us to our page of collections around watches. But if we click on automatic watches, it takes us to our collection. And that's what I prefer. That's the way I would set my store up is using the mega menu just because there's more options for your users to click and it can make it easier for your users to navigate around your store. So if we go back into header and those are the two options that are available. It's automatically optimized for mobile. So if we change our view display to mobile, as you can see, the navigation menu is already set up. So it's basically the drop down menu option that you can have on the desktop but it's just set up that way for your mobile devices. But for desktop, I personally would go for the mega menu just because there's more clickable options for your customers and it can make it easier for them to navigate around your site. So that's how you set up your main menu, the one that's in your header, but what about your footer menus? Well, if you scroll down to the bottom in the sidebar, you'll see the footer option here. And if you click on this little arrow to the left, it'll bring up all the blocks that are available in your footer. So if we scroll all the way down, you'll see this is our footer. Now you can add numerous menus to your footer if you want to by clicking the add block option and there's an option to add a menu. So if you click on that, it brings up a second menu option and we can go in and edit this if we want to. So if we can go into the original quick links and say we want to change this to store information as a heading rather than quick links, as you can see that updates there. And then as with the header menu, you can choose to change or remove the menu from this location. And if you want to remove the block, just click on remove block at the bottom and it will remove that block. I'll do it on the second one that we added. So if we click on remove block, as you can see, it removes that third block that we had on the far right hand side. And then when you're happy with the locations of your menu, so your header menu and also your footer menu as well, make sure you click save on the customizer because then it will publish these changes to the front end of your store.
So that's how you set up a navigation menu in Shopify. It's very simple to do. You just need to make sure you add the right options and then have it displayed the way you want to. Now, one thing I would recommend is before you click publish on your customizer is to make sure you've added the right links to your menu. So click through on all the links and make sure they go into the right pages. Or if you've added an external link, make sure it's going to the right external link before you click publish, just so you know that everything's set up correctly. So that's how you do it. I'd say very simple, very easy to do. And I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If so, a like would be absolutely awesome and very, very much appreciated. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one.